I respect you guys a lot over here with everything do, you're doing. Do you that, honestly, I mean, Nick, honestly. Do you, Jeff? Like half the times I watch clips from here, you're talking shit about me and then the other ones you're praising <laughs> half me. Half so the time? Yeah, right. <laughs> That's so many times. I've never we, talked about well, you. Well, there was only one time that you guys were like, oh yeah, his dope. And then the one time I was like, fuck you, Jeff. I'm going to beat the shit out of <laughs> oh, you when I see oh. you. Oh, <laughs> Susie, I'm pissed. Why? Because the attitude you gave me was worse than your brother's. I didn't even give you any attitude. What did I, are you seriously, are you really mad about it? Seriously? I'm yeah. sorry if I offended you. Okay, well, you're gonna come on camera now? And I, I, nice? I told you sorry five minutes ago. Oh yeah, okay, but when I came in, I was stressed out. I'm, uh, I'm doing multiple charity stuff <laughs> this this week. Uh, I'm doing work with nonprofits. I'm trying to save the world. David and, and, and Jeff as well made their way to the podcast set during the party and made some unflattering comments <laughs> that we also joke around about sometimes. So it wasn't a huge deal, but I got a little too comfortable too quick. And I made a joke that was, you know, that Logan doesn't why'd like you, joking about no, that why'd stuff. Why don't you just say it? <laughs> <laughs> why don't you well, say it well, now well, that I'm first here? Of all, first of all, that joke David made. I mean, fucking right. throw David right under the bus. <laughs> I have five metal plates in my face. He's going to take out definitely these two because these ones are the ones that bother me the most. Like anytime I wash my face, I, like it hits like a nerve and, like, mm -hmm. every day. So now I'm like scared to go under the knife. Last time I was like, fuck it, I don't care if I die. But now it's like, all right, just don't cut my eye out. Mike, you're good, man. I used to think you were just a fucking clout chaser and you just hung out around here for money, but you're smart. You know, that that's absolutely well, hold what on, I- Hold on, He's still both of those first two guys. <laughs> <laughs> but also smart. <laughs> but most importantly. No, 100%. Good luck. Yeah, Get whatever, don't make it weird. Get your head out there. Yeah. Hey, give us a hug. Hey, you better pray. Right. I yeah, I'm gonna sign in right now yeah. for my eye. <laughs> We're here with my friends. They came along to support me throughout my surgery because it's a stressful thing to go through. Surgeries are not fun. <laughs> I mean, one of my favorite movies in, in like recent history is The Joker because his life was hell. He had it the worst, like the recent one, the Todd Phillips one. Yep. And until he started looking at everything like it was a joke, you know, then like, you know shit popped off he fucking raised hell and that's like where i'm at now like <laughs> not saying that i'm gonna raise hell and fucking do something insane and hurt people you know i was reading a couple comments about you and they said that the scariest thing about you is that when they don't, they don't people don't know if you're joking or not <laughs> neither do i <laughs> well but like i just look at everything as it it's a joke and i always have i just saw like oh shit he does this too you know but also during the day um like you know, a good person. I, I try to help people fight crime at night. Right. Vigilante. <laughs> yeah. Go out and do that. Does this make you happy? Fuck <laughs> off. My face. Fuck <laughs> off. Hold on. I don't know how to approach it. Obviously, I've never been in a situation like this. Neither has Jeff, neither have probably any of us. I didn't know the correct way to go about any of it. Especially Jeff's such a tough guy, so you don't know if like you have to be there to fucking baby him or if that pisses him off. When I first <laughs> met you, George, at, like we we met at the bottom. Like we were at, you know, we had I, no I have a followers. really funny story of uh, I remember. Yeah, we could cut it if you don't want to talk about it. I came out of Trader Joe's and you were literally beating the fuck out of some dude. Yeah, cut that story. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just bleep it out. We'll bleep it out because that's funny. That's a yeah. great response. We're, so we're going to be eating french fries with sauce on them. Well, the thing is, is that I didn't realize we eat french fries with sauce on it until you brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, Susie? Do you ever go to the grocery store and you're like, holy crap, I want to try out the sauce? No, but I, don't I don't use sauce. I eat everything plain. That's why you're crazy. That's who I am. That's I'm weird. Just I'm just do you at least put salt and pepper on it? Is that what you do to people? You bring them on your show to insult them? No, I only insult you. That's why I wanted you on the show. And when I lived in 1600 Vine, I was there. That was my trap house. I moved there before any, any Viners lived there. And I was just buying weed and mailing it back to New York. That was like, you know, it's, weed's fucking legal now. It's decriminalized. It's harmless. I wasn't, I wasn't killing people. You know, I was just fucking trying to make a little money for my old barber shops. Must be nice still being good looking, huh, Todd? Remember when I was good looking? <laughs> and your friend took that from me. <laughs> Dude. I didn't know how to navigate that properly, how to like reach out to him in a way that doesn't make him feel like I'm reaching out just to check on him because he's injured. <laughs> it's all your fault. If I never met you, I'd never be here. It's a little awkward for both of us. It's not something that you can just sit down with a person once and be like, okay, cool, it's over. That building was more like an actor building at the time. Mm -hmm. Like It was like aspiring actors living there, going to acting classes. So this kid took me to an acting class and he, uh, I guess, like 
I went to one stupid acting class. It was like a group acting class. You had to get up and just embarrass yourself. And I learned nothing from it but that. But just getting up and embarrassing yourself is, is fine, whatever. I walk over to him. I'm like, yo, what's up, man? Like, are, are you all right? Because he looked like out of it. And he was like, leave before I embarrass you or something. Like, he was like, you don't feel like you owe me anything? Like, literally said this to me. You don't feel like you owe me anything? And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, I'm, I got fucking St. Laurent boots on. Like, I'm all slippery on Hollywood Boulevard. So I was like, give me a second. Like, I'm with my girl. Like, let me... Like, I'll, I'll come back and talk to you. All I want to do is figure out ways to help, but I don't want to make it worse. So I went upstairs and I put on like you know, basketball shorts and running shoes and I came down and I just, I was like, I was like, yo, what's up? So what did you want to talk about? And he flung a kombucha bottle at me, ooh, at my ooh, face. Those are hard. Those are glass. Fucking full kombucha bottle. Ooh. And it rocked me and I just saw red and like, it was in a Trader Joe's bag. So he just flung the whole bag at me like instantly, right when I started walking over. I feel weird because I, mean, I haven't talked in the past month. Right. But when I look in the mirror, it's just a constant reminder, always. There's moments where I convince myself that you did it on purpose. I want to be clear, like obviously I didn't do it on purpose. The last thing I wanted was to fucking launch somebody in the water. It Either was, way, it was like a lose-lose. It was a stupid fucking, it was an accident. And it, it's one of the worst kinds of accidents. And I like I went up to block it, but just the kombucha came in. <laughs> I, I thought it was like a bunch of bananas in the bag or something. You're know, like I can just go like that and block the bag, but he but the fucking thing rocked me. So then I just went over and I pummeled him. And I guess George was just, just walking out of Trader Joe's probably with bananas with his Bible. <laughs> Six months into this now, I don't know if it'll ever be fixed. That's what bothers me the most. That's what I slammed into. Went right through here, and if it was here. Dead. <laughs> I'm not kidding, dude. I am not like you have no because a lot of people are talk out here. Me and Logan talk about this yeah. all the time. When it comes down to squaring up, people ain't about it. No, we realized that with with Jeff when he Facetimed us. Mike and I were like, oh, "Yo, this is not like we don't. This ain't the dude." This ain't well, I told him. I was like, "Yo, guy. he's from he's from he's from New York. Like he he probably has fought a lot in his life. Like everybody gets in street fights out there. Like all your whole life. I'm yeah, sure I've fought. Have you noticed uh, your confidence? being affected at all by this with the, with the women specifically because you're jeff with you're the ladies man no i'm celibate completely sober same well, no, do you have same. a choice now uh what, what do you mean oh the i doesn't bother girls but i've i've been in such a dark place mentally that i don't want to bring a girl into this version of me so i think i'll wait until i start dating again that's crap it's so disgusting i don't even want to swallow this i don't want to put this in my body that's what she said. <laughs> I'm gonna get canceled like Charlie D'Amelio. Oh, hey, five star chef, you fucking suck. Do better next time, or I'm gonna hit you. And I don't think what Charlie did was that bad. People are just hating because she's got a chef. I'm jealous. She has a chef. I want a chef. I always have looked at life as a big joke. My like my life is a comedy movie, and you know, um, I'm just releasing piece by piece of it on my YouTube channel. But like some of it is is curated. We'll plan it. We'll plan some stuff and mix it in with some real shit. And it's hard to decipher what's real and what's not. But um, I mean, fuck it. People lie to me every day. That's that's it. Get used to it. That's how this town works. <laughs> if it could have been any other member of the squad, who Todd, would be? Todd. For real? <laughs> no. I don't know. I'm not going to come kill you in your sleep. I'm going to learn to forgive you. It's a lot easier to forgive you when you're around. Totally. I hear that. It was a roller coaster ride of emotions. He's a kid still in my eyes, and he has a long way to go, but he has proved to me that he genuinely wants to do the right thing. Well, today I'm gonna be trying sauce. Hopefully I'm not allergic and I don't <laughs> die here, because you know Susie doesn't have an insurance policy. My channel is starting up, I'm finally starting up, and I'm finally trying to do something about it. I have a good friend, and she wants to help so me. So once you start making money, you're gonna start paying? Yes, of course! Okay, well then what's your brother's excuse with Kyle? To give him $20 worth of weed once a week is not so <laughs> He also gave him a rat. I gave him that rat. That was my fucking rat. I wonder if Todd shoots gonna open. I switched it with mine. This story is about so much more than just getting hurt and overcoming it. I do believe everything happens for a reason. I don't regret going through this whole experience. I've been up and down so many times, nothing's really gonna break me now. This might be the best moment of my life right here. You're gonna go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Means a lot that you're doing this. It's potato wedges from Ralph. <laughs>
I've never eaten one of these in my life. Who have you had on the show so far? I've had my cousin, I've had Jonah, Joe, I've had Jason, I've had my editor Alexis and my friend. All of the D-list Vlog Squad members. You're what? jumping up three tiers. What are you, you're going B? straight to A-list. Get out of here, no you're not A-list, I'm A-list. <laughs> this is a step <laughs> up, yeah, you are A-list. I've been sending David pictures of an ice cream scooper and devices to gouge his eye out, just to let him fear losing his eye a little bit too. Seeing him scared and not in control was nice. Did it make everything better? No. But it made me feel good to see him go to that extent that he would risk his own life. And now he's doing his first jump. But I remember how I felt. This is fucking nuts. I'm jumping out of a plane by myself with nobody. I know a lot of you guys were familiar with the weight loss challenge I did with Susie's family. Unfortunately, that family's relevancy has plummeted. <laughs> so I had to recast new members that are fresh, funny, new, hot stuff we got coming. Big boys, the beefy boys it's called, and they're all great. So seeing him scared shitless, it was a really nice moment. Right before we were about to jump, I was like, hey, if there's anything you want to tell me, now's the time. He was like, what are you talking about? I was like, you're gay, right? And he was like, yeah, I like boys. <laughs> I think he was kidding, but I don't know. It's kind of hard to judge the sauce when you're eating it off an ice cold potato <laughs> wedge. <laughs> nice, we got a spit take. Yeah, that made my week. Yeah, not good. No, no napkins. <laughs> this is the best episode of Sauce Wars. We cannot stop this. It is really cold. <laughs> Nothing's gonna taste good. Why do we do fries? Is it because it's cheap? <laughs> no. Are we saving money? <laughs>